All right, guys, tomorrow is the big day. We have the patch update arriving tomorrow at 1 p.m. Eastern, so we are about 24 hours away from the patch. We received a laundry list last week, so we know that this upcoming patch that is arriving tomorrow is going to provide several fixes for The Sims 4 in some packs, so we already know that some mods may be affected. Not all mods, but some. So, of course, this is your reminder, your early reminder to make sure that you remove your mods folder from your electronic arts folder, okay? Back up your mods, back up your save files, back up your tray folder, even honestly at this point with how often things are breaking and with saves corrupting, people losing their data for their games, I recommend just backing up all of it, making a copy of it and putting it in a completely separate area or even like on a flash drive or something. So besides the brand new patch that is arriving tomorrow, Tomorrow, we also have two brand new kits arriving this week, and I'm pretty sure after these two kits, this is going to conclude what was on our quarter one roadmap. Jeez, I feel like it's been so long. I mean, it's only been like, what, three months, but I feel like it's been six months. Like, it's just been a while. We haven't really gotten much content. We didn't get any game packs for quarter one. We didn't even get any expansion packs. It's literally just been one stuff pack and a handful of kits and patches one or two that severely broke the game and it took us one big emergency hotfix update to kind of pull ourselves out from that but there's nothing left on the original roadmap so I think that the next roadmap is imminent. I'm honestly surprised these two kits did not come a little sooner. Earlier on in April I would have thought that by now we would have already gotten the second roadmap leading into summer but I can say that since we didn't get any game packs, we didn't get any expansion packs for quarter one, that whenever we do get the next roadmap, which will likely be between the middle and end of April, I hope it doesn't come in May, but it is possible that it does, that we will finally see our first expansion pack of the year on the roadmap. Now, it also is possible we could be going back to one expansion pack a year, like we have in previous years. And you know what? With the current state of the game, Game, the bugs and issues, and the fact that the content just doesn't feel as fleshed out as it should be, I don't think I'm too opposed to that if that were the case. Now, if that did happen, it is possible that we might not even see an expansion pack on the upcoming roadmap, and that if we do get an expansion this year, it could be towards quarter four, so that is also a possibility. Of course, I think whatever roadmap is coming next is going to be full of kits. We'll probably see two or four of them. They usually come in pairs most of the time. We usually get build by and create a sim together. And it is possible we could see our first game pack of the year as well. But it has been a while since we received a game pack. So I wouldn't hold your breath on that one. So we have two brand new kits coming in three days on Thursday, April 18th. We have the Urban Homage Kit. This one is a collaboration with Ebonics. Personally, I think it's cute and I like collaborations. I like seeing more representation in the game in any form. I'm going to support that 100%, 100% of the time. Now, the other kid, on the other hand, Party Essentials. This is the one that's causing the most controversy online, especially over on Sims Twitter. I feel like most kids don't really have that many items, so I'm kind of not surprised at the lack of assets with this one. It just seems to really be a theme that's already been explored multiple times. Times. You know, one of the main selling points for kit packs are that they're just super, super niche topics or categories that they want to add just a couple of things in for you to spend $5 to have in your game. But if you compare these items directly with The Sims 4 luxury party stuff, they definitely fall into the category. A lot of Simmers were making great points, you know, like what happened to refreshes? Like this would have been such a great opportunity to refresh luxury party and either add these objects in to expand on Luxury Party and just add these items in, kind of like what they did with Spa Day with that refresh. And, you know, considering we only received one refresh, it was three years ago and it never happened again, I don't think that is something that they're going to continue doing. Yes, it was great for players that already owned the pack. You know, you got a free upgrade, basically. But I'm sure the sales of the pack itself 
itself did not go up enough to justify the amount of work and resources that they put into refreshing the pack and I truly believe that's why we will not see any more refreshes. There just weren't enough people that didn't buy the pack that decided to buy it because it was refreshed if that makes sense. The disco ball and fog machine are cute but this is definitely something that should have come with luxury party. We're really starting to see reoccurring themes more often than not. And also, we don't really know how functional these objects are going to be because with kits, especially build by kits, I mean we only have one gameplay kit, they usually don't offer gameplay. They usually just have reuse interactions like if we get a record player it has the same interactions that any other stereo system would have. So are we actually going to get a tiny bit of gameplay with this? Are there any moodlets? Do these objects actually function? I'm assuming that the disco ball is going to function like a light. It's going to have the turn on and turn off functionality. And I'm hoping that the fog machine at least produces a little bit of low lying fog. It looks like it does in these two pictures, but I don't know. That could just be editing. And it wouldn't be the first time the Sims team made something look a certain way because of a little bit of editing magic. We know they love to do that with their trailers. So I guess we'll just have to wait and find more. Share your thoughts below on the brand new kits and also the upcoming roadmap. When you guys think it's going to be, what do you think is going to be on it? What are your predictions? Share your predictions below. That's it for me. I love you guys. Thank you so much for watching. Take care and happy life simming.